cassoulet is a hearty French dish that combines a variety of flavors from meat, tomato, white wine, and white beans. I'm making this in our all-clad deluxe slow cooker, which takes this usually complicated process into basically a one-pot meal. The insert of the slow cooker allows me to brown the meat on the stove top and then transfer it to the slow cooker for further cooking. I've already browned some breadcrumbs in the insert and also cooked some bacon. This will go into the dish later, but I reserved the bacon fat in the insert and started browning the pork in it. So I'm just working in batches to make sure that the pork gets nice and browned and has a delicious sear on it. The fond in the pan will stay in there and also transfer the flavor into the rest of the dish. This recipe was developed by acclaimed chef Thomas Keller to fully utilize all the unique features of this deluxe slow cooker. I'm gonna now begin the second batch. Let, let this go for about six to eight minutes. Now that the pork is nicely browned, I can get started on the remaining part of the dish. Going to add some chopped onions and just cooked until they're nice and golden brown. You can keep all of the rendered fat from the pork in the pot and let the onions just cook in that. These onions look delicious. They're beautifully caramelized and nice and tender. I'm going to add the wine and let this cook down by half. So it's just going to simmer and reduce and really enhance that delicious onion flavor. I can see that the wine is reduced by half, so I'm gonna to continue to add the complexity of flavors by adding some tomato paste and just get it stirred in there so it dissolves. Some crushed tomatoes with their juices, a nice whole head of garlic, and then some chicken broth just to add a little more depth of flavor. So just give it a stir, let the tomato paste dissolve, and just come up to a quick simmer. This won't have to cook very long on the stove top. And then you can turn off the heat and add the other ingredients. So to this, we're gonna return the pork back to the insert. Make sure you add those juices that have run off from the pork. They're still delicious and they'll cook through. We're adding some long links of chorizo sausage. This is gonna give a little bit of spice and then some cooked white beans. I've made these from scratch, but you can also use canned beans that have been strained and rinsed. This slow cooking helps the beans absorb all of the delicious flavors. So you just want to try and give it a nice stir to combine everything. Make sure the beans are just nice and submerged. And now we're ready to transfer this to the slow cooker. Because I was able to brown the meat, cook the onions, and get everything started in the insert of the slow cooker, I can easily transfer this to the base and make sure that none of those flavors are lost in the cooking process. This is gonna cook for about seven hours. I'm gonna stir it periodically just to make sure everything's cooking evenly. And I'll check it later. The final steps of this dish are just to skim the top of any fat that's risen to the surface. And then I'm gonna add the breadcrumbs that I cooked at the very beginning. This is just gonna help bind the cassoulet a little bit and give it a little bit more texture and also some parsley for color and flavor. And then just give that a good stir. One final step is just making sure the seasoning is right. So just add a little bit of salt and freshly ground pepper to taste. And we did season the pork ahead of time so there is some salt and pepper in there already, and just give it a taste. It's just right. The final step of this dish is to layer pieces of baguette on top, and then we'll broil it to get a nice golden top crust. This is a great benefit of this slow cooker, since the insert can go from stove top, slow cooker, and then into the oven. And I'm just overlapping these pieces to get nice coverage over the top of the cassoulet. So it's ready for the broiler, just for about five to 10 minutes. The croutons are crispy and golden. To finish the cassoulet, I'm gonna sprinkle the top with the remaining parsley. 
And I'm not gonna forget about the bacon that we started off with. This is gonna be the great garnish on top. And one final accent to this dish is just garnishing with some high quality sea salt, such as fleur de sel, which will tie it back to its French roots. You can see that I've been able to use all the great functions of the slow cooker. I was able to brown my meat on the stove top, cook everything in the slow cooker, transfer it to the broiler, and then it's now ready to take to the table. Everyone's gonna love this great hearty meal.